puppies are one big bundle of joy with their happy smiles and their wagging tails. But when that wagging tail is accompanied by 40 kilos of leaping, bounding energy that doesn't know when to stop, it become a bit of a problem and much less fun. I'm about to meet the gorgeous, dusty, a very outgoing golden retriever pup and his owners, Scott and Harry. So Scott, Dusty is generally a really well-behaved puppy for a golden retriever his age, but he's still having some issues, aren't you? Oh, he's, he's been delightful, but he is a puppy. Um, <laughs> and as you can see, though, puppies never do what they're told. <laughs> Probably the biggest issues is uh, he's chewing. Mm -hmm. he's, sort of, uh, he's now sort of mouthing or biting, yes. as you would call it. Yes. Uh, he does it as play. It drew blood a few times early. Okay. Uh, so it's just that. trying to find the mm. right level for him and, and for us and, and for our other dog, Ozzy. So. Sure. Well, I mean, obviously, it's really important for dogs that they are allowed to mouth because that's how they explore the environment around them. Uh, it's also how they play. And also, when they're teething, they're going to do it as well. So we want to find some alternative ways rather than us for them to get that chewing and that biting experience. So it's really important that we give them toys that they can chew on. We want to make sure they're the right ones. Ones like these are really great, like the Mitch Ball here, hard and everything yep. and fun too, um, that they can't swallow. So these are really good for allowing him to chew and do what he needs to do. However, if we leave a toy box there that Dusty can go help himself to any time of the day, what's to say that he doesn't decide that he's going to go help himself to your shoes any time well, of day? Well, he, he tends to sort of do that occasionally as well. Yes, so. <laughs> exactly. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we do rotate them, really important. One to two toys every day, different ones so that we keep them stimulated and we keep them interested, but we don't want to give them free reign, all right? So we need to set some boundaries. So that's the first suggestion I would make here. Then also uh, with chewing, you've got a beautiful garden going in at the moment. So we want to give some alternatives as well. I have got a little power thing here, the chew stopper or putting some vinegar and stuff if you don't want them getting into your plants and everything like that. They've got to learn through, Ooh, that doesn't taste so nice, yep. is a great way for them to learn as well. As you can see, we've got two dogs and um, <laughs> they're golden retrievers, so they're notorious eaters. So mm -hmm. one of the things we're concerned of is the competitiveness for food. Yes. Uh, and we've known Dusty, particularly at this age, He's snatching. It <laughs> comes back to his biting, but he's snatching his food. So, all right. Any solutions for that? Absolutely. <laughs> now you're being really good by, you know, making Dusty sit and wait for his food until you give it to him. So that's really important as well. And luckily, I have a little some treats in my bag here. Um, what we want to do when we're giving a treat, so not to encourage it, is we want to put it right, put our hand into a fist and just have the tiniest bit just with our thumb, just so it's only a little bit, right? We're making it really hard for Dusty to get it. So we're gonna do it gentle, yes, yes, gentle, gentle, yes, good boy. That's the behavior that we want. So that was all a really nice one. If he was to snatch it, I would have yeah, pulled yeah. my hand back straight away and slowly, see if I'm holding it like this, it's really hard for Dusty to snatch it from me, isn't it? In fact, it's all he can really do is lick that which is a really nice, gentle way that we want him to take the food. And you've still got five fingers? <laughs> I have five fingers. It's really as simple as that. Tight ball, just a little bit at a time, and when he's doing the right behaviour, yes, gentle, good boy, all right? Reinforcing the behaviour that we want, and definitely if he snatches it, we do not give it to him. Yep. That was very good, gorgeous boy. And any other trouble spots? Uh, again, probably we learnt from this one, we've just moved into a new house. Yes. And, and sometimes with a new garden and a new puppy, um, things don't necessarily go well. <laughs> uh, we're, we're concerned about him ripping the garden apart. So. Oh, and you definitely don't want that yeah. done. But I have seen that you have the most amazing sand pit, yes. a couple of them set up, and that's a really great way, particularly with puppies already, dogs, particularly with boredom, even if you're out all day, sand pit is an awesome way to divert that digging again we want to give them something else to do so to keep him interested is we want to put treats in there we can even put bones in there so fresh appropriate size bones check with the vet what ones are good for him at this age and then also toys can be buried deep in there he's gonna have hours of fun doing that sounds good <laughs>